Hello friends and welcome. So today we will see the experiment to verify the truth table of various logic gates. And friends, we are performing this experiment by using online simulator Multisim Live. Okay. So friends, we know basically there are three kinds of gate: basic gates, universal gates, and exclusive gates. So in total there are seven logic gates. Out of that, only NOT gate has single input. Rest of the gates have minimum two inputs. Okay. So I have divided these two gates into two parts. First one is NOT gate, which is a single input gate. So this is the symbol for NOT gate. A is your input and Y is your output. So friends, you know that NOT gate is acting as an inverter. So when you apply zero, you will get one, and when we apply one, we will get zero. Okay. And friends, rest of the gates are two input gates. So we are applying two inputs, A and B. So there are four possible combinations: zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Okay. So friends, first gate we will take is AND gate. So AND gate is used to perform multiplication. So zero into zero, zero. Zero into one, again zero. One into zero, zero. And one into one, you will get one. Okay. So friends, you know that AND gate and NAND gate are complementary to each other. So whatever outputs we are getting in AND gate, NAND gate outputs are exactly complementary to the AND gate. So zero, 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 one. Here we will get one, 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 zero means complement of AND gate. Okay. Now second gate is OR gate. OR gate is used for addition. So zero plus zero, what you will get? Zero. Zero plus one, you will get one. One plus zero, one. And one plus one, again one. Okay. So this is the truth table of AND gate. If you invert this truth table, you will get the truth table for NOR gate. So here we are having zero and then three times one. So here you will get one and then three times zero. So complement OR, you will get the value of NOR. Okay. So friends, third type of gates are exclusive gates. There are two gates, XOR and XNOR. They are again complementary to each other. Okay, so first we will see XOR. XOR is called as anti-coincidence detector. Means when your inputs are not coinciding, means when they are not similar. Zero, one, one, zero. Means when both inputs are different, your output goes high. And when inputs are matching, zero, zero, one, one, your output is low. So this is called as also called as inequality detector. Means means when your inputs are not equal, output is high. And opposite to this, we are having XNOR. So this is complementary. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, and zero. One means XNOR output is complementary to XOR output. So here you can see when your inputs are same, zero zero or one one, your output goes high. So it is also called as equality detector or coincidence detector. So this is regarding the truth table of all the gates. Okay. So friends, now we will try to design these gates using multisim live, and we will try to match our experimental results with this truth table. Okay. So let us go to the multisim live. So friends, first go to the website multisim dot com. And here, click on login. So this window will appear. Now enter your email ID and password, and click on login button. So friends, this is your dashboard. Just click on create circuit button. So friends, a blank circuit will open. Now on the left hand side, you are having various options. I will go to the last option here. Various digital components are available. So first, we will see the truth table of NOT gate. So I will use inverter. It is also called as inverter. So this is your NOT gate. Okay. Now I have to apply since this is a digital circuit. I have to apply digital input. So again, go to the last option, and here you can see digital constant. So select this and place it here. Okay. And uh, suppose I want to see the output of this logic gate. So there are two ways, friends. First, you can go here and you can select digital. Okay. So if I click this, I will get the digital probe. Okay. So I will place it here. Okay. What is the another option, friends? You can go to this output indicators and you can use LED. If LED glows, it means your output is logic one. If LED is off, it means your output is logic zero. Okay. Again, what I will need? I will need ground terminal. So I will use this ground terminal and I will connect the ground terminal to the cathode of the LED. Anode of LED will be connected to the output terminal of NOT gate like this. Okay. And input of the NOT gate will be connected to this digital. Constant. Okay, so if you want to change the name, suppose I am calling this as input A. So I will call it as A and press enter. Okay, suppose this is your NOT gate, so I will rename this to NOT gate. Okay. So friends, that's it. Our circuit is now over. Now just give name. Suppose this is NOT gate. Okay, press enter. Go to the navigation menu and click save button. Okay. So now your circuit is saved online. Okay, so friends, now I will click on Run Simulation button. So now your circuit has started simulating. So here you can see that our logic input is one. So therefore your output is zero. So here what is written? DLO. DLO means Digital Low. 
okay and your led is off so this indicates that our output is zero now i will click on this a input digital input so input is, has changed to zero so when input is zero now your output is one so here you can see friends this probe is showing one and d high means digital high so your output is logic high so therefore your led is on so friends here you can see when input is zero your output is one and when input is one output is zero led is off so in this way you can verify the truth table of not gate okay and suppose i want to check the output waveform of this not gate i will click on run simulation button again and i will click on this split window so now you can see your input is zero so what is the output you are getting one so friends here you can see i am getting one so now when i change the input you can see for when input is one output is logic zero and your waveform is now low so by toggling the input you can change the output and it is visible in the output waveform like this so in this way you can also plot the output waveform for any logic gate okay so friend this is the truth table verification of not gate now what i will do i will use all the two input gates uh, except not gate all other gates have minimum two inputs so what i will do friends i will use the gate simultaneously and i will use the common two inputs to all the gates and we will check the output simultaneously okay so for that purpose we will take a new file okay and we will take fresh components so go to the new file first of all save this file so now you can see new blank file has opened so go to the last option so we will need two inputs so friends i have first i will take two digital constants okay and i will rename them to input a and this is your input b okay so these are your two inputs by default their values are one okay now i will take all the two input gates so what are the other gates i am having and gate so i will take two input and gate so again there are multiple options available suppose i am choosing or gate then it will ask for various types of or gate means two input three input four input like this so we will take all two input gates so similarly i will take all the other gates so friends here you can see i have taken all the gates and gate or gate nand gate nor gate xor gate and x nor gate okay so what i am doing friends i am applying same two inputs to all the gates okay and at the output i will connect six different leds and simultaneously we will check the output so first i will take the output leds like this so friends here you can see i have taken seven six different leds and i have connected all the cathode terminals to ground terminal and where we have to connect the anode terminal so we have to connect anode of each led to the respective output terminal of gates like this so friends in this way all the outputs of logic gates are connected to the respective leds now we have to connect the input so suppose i am connecting input a here and input b is connected here like this so friends now you can see a and b are connected to the and gate similarly what i will do i will connect first input of each gate to input a like this so friends you can see all the first inputs are connected at digital input a similarly the second inputs of all gates are connected at digital input b like this so friends now you can see every gate is applied with input a and b simultaneously so whenever i change the input what happens friends input applied to all the gates will change simultaneously so when i am applying suppose 0 0 so at 0 0 what is the output of and gate or gate all the gates i will get simultaneously okay so friends before running i will give the name okay and then i will hit save button click okay so your circuit will get saved on the cloud okay and now your circuit is ready for simulation okay so by default the input values are 1 1 okay if you want to change this value click here and press this circular button so now your input is changed to 0 okay so means our simulation will start from 0 0 input okay so friends i have committed a mistake while doing the connections instead of leds i have connected the simple diode so now i have replaced all leds with diode so remember this and again in order to check the digital output i have connected the digital probe how this is possible just to go to this and use this digital probe option okay so now uh, digital probe will show whether the output of logic gate is 1 or 0 respectively again it will show digital low or digital high as the message okay so right now your inputs are 0 0 so i will click on this run simulation button so friends here you can see some leds are glowing some leds are 
off so this indicates that your output is zero this indicates that led is glowing means output is logic one okay so same is indicated by this digital probe also so when inputs are zero zero you can see and get output is zero okay and and get output is complementary so if it is zero and get output is definitely one again zero plus zero so what is the output of or get zero and what is the output of nor get one okay and here we are having xor get so we know for xor get output is high only when inputs are not matching so here both inputs are matching so therefore for 0 0 you will get 0 okay and x nor gate is complementary to x or gate so x nor is 0 so x nor is definitely 1 so your last led will glow so this is the condition when your inputs are 0 0 now what is our next condition suppose input a is 0 and input b is 1 so now what happens friend 0 into 0 and gate output is 0 0 plus 1 or gate output is doing addition so your output is 1 so right now your led will start glowing okay and complementary to this we will get nand and nor output so here we are getting 0 and 1 so for nand and nor we will get 1 and 0 complementary outputs okay then here again your inputs are not matching so we know that xor gate is acting as a inequality detector so when inputs are not matching your output is logic 1 so you can see d high means digital high output you will get led is also glowing and complementary to this we will get the output of x nor gate okay so if no, xor gate output is high x nor gate output will be low okay and led will turn off so this is the condition when your inputs are 0 and 1 now what is your third condition a input is 1 and b input is 0 so again 1 into 0 you will get 0 1 plus 0 you will get 1 as or gate output for nand gate if and gate output is 0 nand gate output is 1 if or gate output is 1 nor gate output is 0 complementary output we will get again here inputs are not matching so inequality will be detected okay and your output will be high again led will low so xor output is high xnor output will be definitely low okay so this was the third condition and what was the last condition when both inputs are high so now your inputs are one and one so here you can see when both inputs are high multiplication is one output is one led will start glowing again one plus one or gate output will be high okay so if and gate output is one nand gate will be zero if or gate output is one nor gate output will be zero and here inputs are not different so your output of xor gate will be low if xor gate output is low xnor gate output will be definitely one so in this way you can see the output of any logic gate and you can verify the truth table so friends we have seen the truth table so you can check each and every condition you will see that this truth table can be completely verified by by using multi sim live okay so friends in this way in single click you can verify the truth table of any logic gate okay so since all these logic gates are having two inputs so we have applied the same inputs to all the logic gates and simultaneously we are checking what output they are providing okay so in this way you can verify truth table of any logic gate if you want to do this separately you can also do it separately use only and gate verify the truth table then replace and gate with or gate so that will be lengthy process here in single window you will see the truth table of all the logic gates okay so friends in this way you can design uh, any digital circuit by using this multi-sim live and you can check the output okay if you want to check their output waveforms just click on the run simulation button go to this split button okay so now you can see your circuit as well as your waveforms are now visible okay now click on any waveform okay go to the settings and here you can set your settings so if i am changing time for division okay and if i am changing the inputs so here you can see your outputs are changing simultaneously for all the logic gates so if i am changing the inputs you will get your output waveform will change accordingly so in this way you can verify the waveform for each and every logic gate okay so friends thank you very much for watching this if you are having any doubts or difficulties please write in the comment section thank you very much for watching this have a nice day